2019 physical metallurgy questions the fastest diffusing element in iron at 1100 degrees centigrade uh, is nickel cobalt chromium carbon uh, the iron at 1100 degrees centigrade has fcc phase and nickel cobalt chromium are substitutional elements where uh, carbon is interstitial and uh, we know that substitutional elements are bigger than interstitial elements. So the diffusion in a closed pack structure like FCC, the substitutional element diffusion is slower than interstitial element. And also the diffusion is inversely proportional to atomic weight. So lighter is the element, faster is the diffusion. Among all these, carbon has lower atomic weight. So it has the fastest diffusion. Metallic bond, Van der Waals bonds, and covalent bonds. Uh, the if you see atomic bonding strength, ionic bond has more strength than covalent, than metallic, than hydrogen, than Van der Waals. So hydrogen bonds are stronger than Van der Waals bonds. The FCC crystal structure with a lattice parameter of 0 0.3615 nanometers is used to measure the wavelength of monochromatic X-rays. The Bragg's angle theta for the reflection of 111 planes is 21.68. The wavelength of X-rays. Okay. According to the Bragg's law, we know N lambda equal to 2D sin theta. Here theta is Bragg's angle. 2 theta is diffraction angle. Now, And here, here uh, diffraction angle D is equal to A by root over H square plus K square plus L square. H square is given as 1, 1, 1. So D is equal to A by root 3. So lambda equal to 2 into A is given as 0 0.3615. 15 by root 3 into sine 21.68. Let's calculate this value. So lambda is equal to 0 0.154 nanometers. So answer is 0 0.154. The table providing correct information about crystal structure, coordination number, and packing fraction is a face centered cubic, body centered cubic, diamond cubic, coordination number, and packing fraction. Uh, we know for FCC, which is a closed pack structure, we have a it has a packing fraction of 0 0.74, and the BCC has a packing fraction of 0 0.68, and the diamond cubic has a packing fraction of 0 0.34. The diamond cubic, uh, the carbon atoms occupy corners and uh, face centers and alternate tetrahedral voids so each carbon is surrounded by four atoms so the coordination number is nothing but the number of nearest neighbors for diamond cubic the coordination number is four and bcc it is eight and fcc it is 12. match the phase transformation in column one with the corresponding reaction alpha beta gamma solid phases liquid liquid one liquid two okay peritactic reaction monotactic eutectoid and synthetic uh, if you will consider iron carbon diagram the peritactic reaction liquid plus delta gives rise to gamma eutectoid reaction austenite gives alpha plus cementite and the monotactic is nothing but one liquid giving one liquid plus solid. So it is uh, four, three, and uh, eutectoid is one, two. Four, three, one, two. In a typical scanning electron microscope, SEM, information about topography and uh, the atomic contrast are obtained from. Generally, in a scanning electron microscope, the topography is given by secondary electron and atomic contrast, how high the number is, will be given by back scattered electron. If more is the more is atomic number, more will be contrast given by the back scattered electrons. So back scattered electron will differentiate uh, the how bigger the atom is 
and second electron will give us the surface topography because if you see the interaction volume secondary electron will come from the surface here it will be there and back scattered electron will be from here bsc so the secondary electron will tell you about our uh, match the ceramics in column 1 and corresponding application in column 2 ceramics Spinel ferrites, tungsten carbon, barium titanate. Millites are generally uh, are the ceramics which are used in refractory, and uh, spinel ferrites are used for the preparation of soft magnet. They are used in soft magnets. Tungsten carbide is the hardest element, so they will be used for cutting the tools in cutting tools. Barium titanate will be used as a piezoelectric material. So it is two four one three. The critical radius of nucleus during solidification at TM. So temperature is given as 1673 Kelvin. Is the enthalpy of fusion of nickel is 2.65 to 10 power 9 joule per meter cube. So enthalpy of fusion is given. The liquid solid interfacial energy, which is gamma is equal to 0 0.5. The equilibrium melting temperature, the melting point is given as 1728. Now we know. For the nucleation, the activation energy for the nucleation is nothing but the volume energy and 4 pi 3 alt cube and the surface free energy. If you want to find the critical radius, you need to differentiate it with respect to R. So R, you will get 2 gamma by delta G. This volume free energy, whatever is there, will be the function of enthalpy, the enthalpy of fusion. Okay, here. Enthalpy fusion is nothing but uh, 2.65 to 10 power 9. So it is minus 2.65 into 10 power 9 into 1 minus 1673 into Minus 8.4 into 10 power 7 joule per meter cube. So R is nothing but minus 2 into 0 0.5 by minus 8.43 into 10 power 7, which you'll get as 11.8 nanometers. So the answer in nanometer is 11.8. Okay, thank you.